What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight T stand up! Mr. Beast, $1 versus $10 billion I'm about job. to work this $10 million job as a professional athlete. No and way. I'm going to show you the difference between Mr. this Beast is an and getting paid $200,000 to be an astronaut. Why are you going to Getting paid $100,000 to dig up real time. Why he's around diamonds? Dinosaur bones. Oh my god! And so many other jobs. Starting with the lowest paying job I could find, gold panning. That can make as little as one dollar a year. But we're gonna make millions. One dollar Statistically a year. not. Basically, gold panners put dirt in this mechanism. And with enough shaking and water, all of the gold is filtered out to the bottom. But it's not very easy. Because after five hours of searching, I was definitely not rich. Oh, boys! I found gold! No! How much is that little nugget worth? That is... Two cents. Exactly my oh. point. You can do this for a whole year and only make a dollar. But luckily for us, we're going to be working jobs that pay over $10 million per year. Damn. But first, let's see what it's like to work a job that pays $100,000 per year. Digging up dinosaur bones for our museum. That's crazy. And yes, these are fake because they're all dead. So this is just one of our pits. Are these actually dinosaur bones? They are. I've been here 17 really? years. This is easily the largest bone that I've ever worked Damn. on in my- Damn, bro. Bro, it's just, bro, super interesting, bro. Dinosaur is my favorite subject, bro, in science, dog. Like, yo, bro, there was an animal roaming around the earth that was that big. You don't understand. My career. This so, is like, your that's just a bone. Like, that's just like- a probably just a, a, a small tiny percentage of a bone in a finger. It's like bone, right here, and it's over four feet tall. For comparison, here's that dinosaur next to six corals stacked on top of each other. The brontosaurus. These are mini jackhammers, essentially. How you doing it? He has no idea what he's doing. He has no idea. Now this may come as a surprise, but we are god awful at this. Whoops! Be careful. It took us five hours to make any progress whatsoever. But really? even with us holding him back, with what the help of the expert, we were getting somewhere. This is easily the largest bone that I've ever worked on in my career. And you let me and Carl touch that? Absolutely. What if we messed it up? Josh, how much is this weigh? Probably gonna be two two fifty pounds. Yep. This is one tenth the weight of Nolan's mom. Oh! oh. Mama jokes again, bro. No, 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 bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. <laughs> now I think you say it to the heart at this point. A little bit personal. Uh, the the Nolan guy. He hasn't even cracked a smile. The other previous episodes, he would crack a smile. I don't know. Yo. Personally. Now, because this bone is so ancient, we have to cover it in a cast before we pick it up. Or else really? it could literally break in half. Let's hope it doesn't fall apart when we lift it. One, two... <laughs> They ever put donut powders? I win, baby! Good job! This is the first time any humans have ever carried this bone. Just YouTubers carrying a dinosaur oh, bone. Oh, is this in the Grand Canyon? Or uh, front of the table. One, two, yeah. And believe it or not, this dinosaur bone did find its way into a museum. But because museums are boring, let's head over to the $200,000 job. Astronaut training with NASA. In my first mission, learn to drive the official lunar rover. This is what will one day be on the moon. Yeah, this is how we're going to get around the surface of the moon. Why are they letting me drive this? Really? Open the door! How do I work this thing? Push forward on the stick. Right now? Yeah. Go for it. Push forward. Whoa! whoa, whoa. Hey, don't kill us. I'm scared. You good? Oh, this is amazing. Go ahead and twist. To the right? To the right or left. Don't care. Oh my god, there are cars. How fast is this is street legal? Uh, street illegal around here. Oh, this is amazing. Why are we driving sideways? I haven't figured out how to straight it yet. And even Wait. though I'm driving like I'm actually drunk, I still managed to get us to NASA's loop. Why is it driving like that? Oh, I'm trying to see and make sure my audio was still on for a second. Yeah, we did. Bro, why is it driving like that? Am I tripping? How does it have like those tires and it's sitting sideways? And even though I'm driving like I'm actually drunk, I still managed to get us to NASA's lunar training yard where the real test is going to be. Oh, we're off-roading. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, this is getting bumpy. You're going to let me drive it down this hill? Is there seat belts in this thing? There's a seat belt we don't use right there. Like yeah, because they've got seat belts uh, we don't use. That's, that's helpful. Oh, oh, that's way too steep. Oh, no way. Man. Are we really going down? Can I get that seat belt now? Oh, my God. No, we're going down the hill. Stop it. Stop it. No, no. Lift your hand so they can see I'm driving. I, he's actually I'll like, get up and let Nick go. No, no, sit there. No. Go sideways in the crater? Sure. Hold me, Carl. 
bone me! Landon, I'm just gonna say it, you wouldn't survive on the moon. Ah, uh, I reckon I can do it. Next in training, NASA showed me around their enormous space facility. Holy crap, this is the second largest pool on Earth. Which I'll be honest, it really? just felt like they were flexing on me. Especially when they showed me the space suit. As far as anybody's concerned, once you try on a space suit, you're an astronaut. But of course, there was a catch. When you go on a spacewalk, you have to wear a diaper? You're in the suit for 12 hours. Wow. There you go. It's like an actual real adult. Oh, bro, I just realized that. When they, we, if you gotta go to like the astronaut, like to the moon, when they just gotta go to the moon, they don't got an actual restroom because there's no gravity and there's also no shower. I already knew that they didn't take showers, but I just figured out and just as of today, just found out you can't even go to the bathroom when you go to the outer space, especially when you go to the moon and stay longer like a trip. Oh my gosh, yo, that's a funky woo, yo. I just was now today just found that out. Well, diver, okay. So Look be careful. Be this is video, a space artifact that's flown on the space shuttle several times. So you gotta good. Wear diaper, warn this. Bro. Keep in mind that astronaut peed in this. Have you peed in this suit? I not in this suit. No. Okay. <laughs> Why is he done next up? mission? What are you doing a, a year from now? I can make time. Okay, okay. And the final step of my training was the craziest thing I've ever done. They were gonna let me touch the moon. No, no, lean back into it because it weighs 9,000 pounds. This weighs 9,000 pounds. Wait, people, we, we have access to the secret moon pieces or something? Or am I missing something? How do you just teleport like this? There's no way they're at the moon right now. Well, this is the largest collection of moon rocks on display anywhere in the world. Moon rocks? I believe they're letting us do this. You realize we're just a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. These oh, are that's not the moon rocks the moon. Talking about. What are the odds you let me touch the Genesis rock? Zero. Yesterday, we dug up a dinosaur fossil, so I'm an expert in this kind of stuff. Can I touch it? No. I tried. This material here is actual right, yeah. lunar soil. <laughs> You're actually touching the moon right now. Oh, that's wild. So that tube has dirt the from the moon. You're actually touching the moon right now. Oh, that's wild. So that tube has dirt from the moon and has not been open since it came back. And since you haven't checked in theory, there could be an alien. Yes. Well, it would be the first from the moon. Wait. From the moon? <laughs> and after we found out aliens were totally real, we headed to the stratosphere for our next job, where Carl and Nolan are going to fly a plane. I've never flown a plane before. We have no idea what we're doing. Welcome to the first day of flight training. I'm not joking. For the boys to somehow fly a real plane, all they have to do is land one time in this flight simulator. All right, here we have our throttle. Pulling it back makes it go slower, just like that. Oh, oh my God. And after knowing Oh, crashed, they're not in the actual plane. Oh and crash, oh and crash. You crashed the plane? He eventually no. did land successfully, which, for whatever reason, gave him the keys to fly this real plane. No way, bro. Oh, out. oh hey, nah, I'm good. Show, please, for love of God, let them know now. Oh, He's oh really fucked. Nah, I knew the pilot was gonna be in there. Oh I knew the pilot was gonna be in there. As ready as I'll ever be. Approaching 16. Kind of wobbly, but uh, now just pull back a little bit. We're taking off. Oh my I'm God. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, well, watch this, I'm gonna turn right. No. Stop, bro! Oh my god, we're sideways! Yo, they're right, flying across all the states. Oh, no hands! Stop! Oh, oh sweet Jesus! You poor oh, I'm gonna burn you! Alright, we're gonna go over there in a minute, we're gonna go back and land. Oh my god, I forgot. That's the one thing, it's always a challenge for people. Alright, I'm descending. My mental health is descending also. This is the part I crashed in every time in the simulator. Oh my god! Ah! Yo! Oh, it's the edit. Bro. Oh my god! Oh, we're close, right? Oh. Keep it pointed right down the middle. Oh my god. Easy. Keep your hands on. But only if you're Leave one of the highest the paid man models that, in the world. She makes five times the average salary of a doctor by letting people take photos of her hands. And her resume No way! Is She's hand modeled for almost any brand you've ever heard of. Her hands wow, that is crazy. for one million dollars per hand. I can't wait to see hey, this. Hey, hustle is So hustling. to start us off, she examined our hands. I didn't know that today was going to be the day that 
that I find new insecurities. Okay, so immediately I can see the nails need work. Of course. Agreed. These hands suck. Okay. Look at how much hair is here compared to Carl. Can I get paid more for that? The skin texture <laughs> might be better here with these two. Bruh! Can you change me? I don't know if I can work miracles, but um, <laughs> I haven't seen your hands yet, Jimmy. My hands, like, glow. That's crazy. Why are your hands so glossy? <laughs> I don't know. Are my finger structures good? Uh, yeah. No, they're very good, actually. But again, we've got cuticle issues, skin issues here, but that can all be fixed. Our hands clearly needed work, so we had to prepare them to shoot, which was pretty easy for me and Carl. But for laser, not so much. Oh, God. Bro, you can make our rug out of all that hair. <laughs> This hair's been with me my whole life. But you gotta do what you gotta do if you wanna make a million dollars. And now that my hands are no longer disgusting, it's more than a right, for yeah. an actual magazine. And these photos are literally gonna be shown on billboards all across America to promote these watches. That's petrifying. Really? Yeah, no, no pressure. Mr. Beast in a magazine! Okay. I mean, the watch looks good. <laughs> I yeah. honestly thought this was gonna be easy. But we were actually horrible at this. It looks like the watch is on a snake. <laughs> Bro, this is so hard. Can I see the difference with you doing it? Oh! What? Unreal. The product looks better because her hand doesn't shake as much. But being a hand model isn't all about wearing nice watches. Sometimes you have to model weird things. Why are you squirming? Because I see a man holding a snake off camera. <laughs> oh! Brave, Carl, brave. That looks poisonous. Really kind of support is it? Yeah, of course I'll see. That's your name, poisonous? I thought the colorful, like, animals would be poisonous. Just sponsor this video. Just hold that right there. Expo! Okay, no, PS5! There the you watch, go. A snake Mr. Beast in knows. this game. Yo, look at that. That looks crazy. That is Mortals of Avium is a first-person magic shooter where you play as a battle mage named Jack trying to save the world, girl. Can he save me? <laughs> this time I need you to model the Xbox version of the game with the Scorpion. No way, bro. You want to grab between their... Oh, and hell no, nah, right. Safe for Scorpions is definitely my top three, like, hated, like, creatures, insects. Like, bro, I'm so serious, though, like... Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Get it, get it, go, 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 talk, talk, and go, and talk about the... And go, 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 and unlock 80 different talents to customize your character to suit your playstyle. Carl, you think Immortals of Avium are gonna love that photo? Immortals of Avium, I hope you love this. Just hold the scary animals, and then we get to join the NFL animals for our final insect, job. The people who created Immortals of Avium also helped make the award-winning campaigns of Halo, Call of Duty, and Dead Space. We love those campaigns. Oh, it's moving. And the coolest thing is, they put me in the game as a it's boss. Like if you kill me in the game, you get more gold than any other boss the game gives you. Oh! Nah, so Scorpion is definitely a cringy insect, man. That's another cringy insect. That's game. another cringy insect. That's another cringy insect. That's another cringy insect. As well as PS5. And there's a free demo available on Steam. I feel it under me. It's under my hand. We were doing such a bad job that we had the hand model step in to ensure the sponsor would approve of the photos. Click the link in the description if you want to play Immortals of Avium right now. I'm retiring as a hand model. And even though our photos weren't great, we still got them on billboards all across the country. And now, it's finally time for the job that pays $10 million per year. That's right, I'm about Whoa! to the NFL. This is literally my dream. Bro, you, you need to do the this Patriots, is all fake, man. Here I am signing a real contract to become a literal player for the Buccaneers worth $10 million. Damn. It might say we're not going to pay it, but it at least says that dollar amount. No, no, no. Focus on the dollar amount. And now it's official. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. So for the next 48 hours, I'm officially a player. You are officially a player. I promise I won't let you down. I promise he will let you down. <laughs> By the end of my contract, I'm going to be running out That's with the team crazy. on the field in front of 60,000 fans. The first step is weight training. I might be too light. Let's go up. Let's go up. Easy, I don't easy, actually easy, think man. they're paying me the ten million. Easy, easy. struggle. Ah. Are you a winner or are you a falcon? Easy. Yeah. There's no I'm way to train it for a week. When you're an NFL player. Can you set it to whatever the strongest player in your team does? I'm gonna see if I can do what. He can do twelve of these. Holy crap! He's I can do twenty. Human. Uh, I would hate to be hit by him. Football. Yeah. Hey, you better be careful. You can get a hernia. Uh, why is the NFL so hard? Ugh. How does this compare to their typical workouts? Pretty pathetic. Hopefully the lightheadedness goes away. It will. Okay. You get used to it. Okay. Up next was my first practice at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers training facility. So naturally I met my coach. Oh, How's it going? How are you doing? So Good. That's and crazy. my new teammates. Nice to meet you, man. It's been a shake. <laughs> love you. I love your oh, really? candy bars and Carl gummies. Up yeah, <laughs> 
And my new teammates couldn't believe I actually signed with the team, so I showed them my contract to prove it. This is the same one you guys signed? I so, think you got more money than me, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But if you read, it says, unless it's canceled in 48 hours, we're still going to cancel. Uh, yeah, yeah, look at the, the five parentheses grand. for sure. Hey, you official. Welcome to I know, uh, thank you. Hey, my hey, new teammates over here. Mom. These guys make us look like children. They're so big. Look at the size comparison. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've never played football before. So they threw me on as kicker, which... Hi-ya! Oh, yo, I was terrible at. Come on, I'm Mr. making Beast, it out of my you sleep. Out, you gotta get ready for tomorrow. You're right, you're right, you're Bro, right. Mr. Beast of... Bro, is he gonna be on this NFL Sunday either. coming up? I, I just threw one up as far as I could. Oh! Oh! Touchdown. In case you didn't know, the team I just joined is the same team Tom Brady won the Super Bowl with. So I he won the Super Bowl with the Patriots, man. Come on, you're forgetting the Patriots. Just surprise him. Oh, we got him. Tom Stop. Brady! PB, what's oh! up? What's up, bro? I have a friend here who might literally die of happiness if you say hi to him. You can't do this to me. You yeah, can't do this to me. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay. After Stop that, our Brady. practice just evolved into shenanigans. Blue ah! man! Oh! Three! Too small! Yeah. You can go back to film it. Alright, guys. Let's see how. Some Damn. people still had some questions <laughs> about my two-day contract. So afterwards, the Bucks set up a press yeah, conference. Yeah, a press conference, really bro. Is this really out right now? The big game. I'm Who do the Bucks play tomorrow? Is this just a publicity stunt? Why are you really here? To make the best video possible? Yes, it's a publicity stunt. I clearly am not an NFL player. Jimmy, how does it feel being on the new team? It feels great. To be honest, they've accepted me way more than I thought. <laughs> how much playing time are you expecting? Uh, none. And after explaining over and over again that it's just a stunt, I went to go get measured. Six four and a half. Six four and a half. Carl, you're six five. I'm six five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These measurements are key, so that my gear and my uniform are all custom fitted. <laughs> this actually looks so good. There we go. And now that I'm suited up, it's time for the official game day. I still don't know why they're letting me do this, but hey, thanks, Bucks. Are you surprised they let me join the team? Yeah. That's my first football I've ever signed. Oh, Jimmy's about to come out any second now. They said if you get up by 100, I can play a play. Do me a favor and get up super high. It's his first game and probably his last. Definitely his last. How is this happening? And since this is the only NFL game I'll ever be a part of, the team Whoa, actually let what me team are the playing? Shout out to the Buccaneers for making me an official NFL player. It's honestly a good thing Jeez. I didn't play because if they hit me, I probably would have died. And I thought it was all Yo. over there until the Falcons made fun of me on Twitter. So oh, in retaliation, I'm in a nuclear stadium. Damn. Hey, man. If you see Mr. Beast in this Buccaneers game uh, coming up Sunday, which is tomorrow from when I'm uh, reacting, uh, let me know. Because we're going to have to, I don't know, tune in or something.